Hi, my name is Christy and I have a story that I need to tell y'all today. So I'm a cancer survivor and a year ago today I had a an, my annual CT scan and I was absolutely shocked to find out that the cancer was back. I went in to have surgery and they said that it was inoperable. And so then I started doing chemotherapy. Well, the first chemotherapy was shrinking the tumors. It was also giving me hepatitis. <laughs> so it was kind of killing me faster than, than the cancer would have. And so I had to stop doing that one. And uh, the next chemo wasn't working. This was the frontline heavy hitter chemo that they use. And so I had an absolutely surreal conversation with my doctor where he used the words terminal cancer. And we were discussing my quality of life versus treatment options. Well, I wasn't ready to give up. So I was like, okay. You know, this, I, I tried the next one. And the next one wasn't working. The tumors were still growing. And I had that surreal conversation again. And so I chose not to not to do any more chemo. Um, I am going to be starting a clinical trial, so hopefully, you know, that will work. I don't know. I'm still, I'm still hoping for my miracle. I'm hoping for the miracle and preparing for the worst. <laughs> It's really strange when you're talking to your 80 year old mother about what you want for your funeral. Um, and by the way, I'm having a karaoke party, not a funeral. Because I want people to celebrate. I think I'm really grateful and I'm really I feel really blessed that I've been going through this journey right now because I've been lucky enough that I haven't had to work through this. I was working for a company and I was able to have good insurance and disability insurance that I haven't had to work. So I've been able to spend a lot more time with my kids and my family. And I hope I get to see my kids grow up. But I know that I'll be with them no matter what.
I've also learned how important it is to just live. Whatever that means to you. To me, it means making memories and spreading love. And I'm grateful that I've been able to do a lot of that this year. Because life is short. Use the good china. Wear that dress that you're saving for a special occasion. Because you don't know You don't know when it's going to be over, when you're not going to have that chance again. One of my favorite movies is called Auntie Mame. It's a really old one. And Rosalind Russell is amazing and she plays the titular character, Auntie Mame, and her one of her lines from that is, life is a banquet and most poor suckers are starving to death. And I was one of those poor suckers who was starving to death. And I've learned this year to stop starving and to just live. And so as I move on to next year, that's my goal is to live, make memories, and love people and spread that love. And I love you. I love you.